population in Ghana since the 1930s has been plagued by the disease. The main control method for the disease is to cut out all disease and its contact trees as well as replanting of the treated farms with hybrid varieties that are tolerant to the disease. The main challenge to the control of the CSLVD are farmer opposition to the tree cutting arising from unfavorable land tenure arrangements and the discontinuation of the programs due to budgetary constraints and change in treatment policies. In order to contain the disease, it is important that control programs are designed to outrun the rate of spread of the disease. Since it was officially reported in the 1930s that the disease was caused by a virus, the recommended control measure has been by cutting out the visibly infected and its contact trees. The first countrywide survey and treatment of the disease was conducted from 1948 to 1949. The total, a total number of trees removed was 135.7 million trees. Farmers were compensated for allowing treatment of their disease farms and this amount was reviewed over time. In 1962, when the swollen shoe virus disease was fairly well under control and the locations of the CSIVD outbreaks had been defined, the then cocoa production division was abolished and the control of the disease was passed on to cocoa farmers. The Ghana National Farmers Cooperative Federation pushed the then government to cede the treatment of the disease to them. They, however, could not carry out the control of the disease. This led to a build-up of the disease to such a level that there was the need to map out the extent of the disease incidence. Cocoa Services Division was re-established to commence another countrywide survey in 1970, which ended in 1980.